We are going to paint in watercolour a group of racing horses coming at full gallop around a corner. Begin by wetting the background and float in some blue for the sky. Go carefully around the jockeys and protect them with massing fluid if you have to. While still a bit damp, but not completely wet, bring in some yellow-green for distant trees and a darker colour for the shadows. Paint the turf with a light green mix of sap green. And as you are doing this, you need to slowly and carefully leave out the horse's legs and body. If you happen to go into this area, quickly dab over it with a tissue. Now paint the lower section with dark sap green and leave it rough. Dry it and with the hog hair brush filled with green paint, dab the flat side randomly onto the paper. The long hairs tend to leave the impression of grass. Continue to build up the impression as shown. With a dark color and a small round brush, paint in the distant fence. And now the fun begins. With a small round brush, begin by painting in the various colored caps as well as the dark racing glasses. The main light is coming from the right. Each hat and clothing is unique to that particular jockey. And when painting the jockey, be careful not to paint into the horse area. Note the various tonal ranges to simulate the rounding of the body. To make them look like people, paint the faces with some light orange or a light burnt sienna. Don't try to paint the facial features as yet. Carry on painting the other jockey's clothing. Paint the headgear of the horses in their different colors. And the horse on the left is white, so the shading will be done with a blue-gray mixed with the previous light blue and into it a little touch of red. Carefully add the different tonal ranges, all the while comparing against the reference photograph. With a light brown, begin adding the bridle, the chaps of the jockey, and also strengthening up the shadows for contrast. Paint the hooves and the horse's face. In the second horse, paint in the deep shadow first, and with a lighter color, paint the head. Add some gray for the hooves, and with a damp brush, lift out the highlights on the body parts. Add the shadows on the grass. Remember, they are at full gallop, and not all legs and hooves are on the ground. The shadows must simulate the roughness of the grass. Continue blocking in the various tonal ranges of the last two horses. Don't try to paint them in exactly the same color ranges. Make them slightly different to each other. The painting is starting to really come together now. We can now work on the clothing. Block in all the small patches of color. And note that some areas, the clothing, tend to merge into each other into the deep shady areas. The front jockey in his yellow shirt is the focal point of this painting and can be a bit more detailed than the other jockeys. Notice also how the colors are mostly in different shapes rather than in details. The brain compensates for all this in the end. Add only a very light line for the mouth in the face. That's all the detail in the face we need. To finalize the painting, a few loose horizontal stripes randomly placed will add to the realism of the scene. Most paintings really don't need to be highly detailed. Please like this video if you enjoyed watching it and add a comment below. 
We would also love you to subscribe for more paintings like this one.